A very warm welcome to the course on design thinking and innovation. Why design thinking? One can understand design thinking as a method to solve problems using a process. It is one of the most effective ways to create something new. A process that first understands the user, identifies and analyzes a problem or a need and researches relevant information after which ideas are explored until an appropriate innovative solution to the problem or the need is arrived at. It involves observation, discovery, analysis, experience, collaboration and reflection. Exciting, isn't it? Hence, design thinking could be viewed as a process that translates an idea into a blueprint for something useful, whether it's a vehicle, a building, a graphic, a service or a system. In a nutshell, Design thinking along with innovation combines user requirements, finds creative solutions, explores suitable technology alternatives and results in a new business enterprise or solves existing problems. The design thinking process can be applied to solve problems and find creative innovative solutions in any field or domain. For example, one can apply design thinking to solve problems in arts, social sciences, law, medicine, engineering, business, etc. It could even be applied to solve problems at home or in your neighborhood or in your place of work. Whether it is a simple problem or a complex problem, a design thinker finds creative ways to tackle them. If everyone could adopt this method to solve problems, then we would be moving towards a very creative economy that would find solutions to many of our problems. Who should attend this course? The course is meant for students of higher education and professionals in any field who would like to explore creative possibilities in their respective areas of expertise. The backgrounds of students and professionals could be, as I said before, science, humanities, engineering, law, medicine, architecture, arts, design and other disciplines. The course will be useful to entrepreneurs who would like to improve their business and are seeking new opportunities and methods to do it. It could be to develop new innovative products or applications, improve their services in novel ways or to find a solution to an existing problem. These could include SMSCs, tech startups, social innovators, rural entrepreneurs, etc. How is it learned? The course will be based on hands-on project-based learning where the learners will identify and find innovative solution to a live contextual problem. The exposure to theoretical inputs, use of design tools for analysis will happen simultaneously. The exposure content will have theoretical inputs from experts in the field as well as experienced professionals from the industry along with exposure to case studies of projects using the design thinking and innovation process. We can assure you that this course will be very involving, experiential and enthusing with rich takeaways. So if you would like to be part of the creative critical thinking practice, do opt for this course.